thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Why I Love Flagler County, your local podcast spotlighting local businesses and local residents on why they like being a part of uh, Flagler County. So today I'm super excited to have my guest, Mr. Brandon Slaughter with me today. Brandon, thank you so much for the time today. I really appreciate it. Hey, guys. Hey, well, thanks. So Brandon and I met just last week, but um, his his daughter and my younger brother have been running on the FPC uh running teams uh for uh about almost a year and a half half or so now um so we're we're a little familiar with Brandon's family so I was really excited to learn what he did and I had no idea so I'm really excited to learn a little bit more now um so Brandon why don't we kick it off really simple why did well like what brought you down here to Flagler okay um you know what brought us to Flagler I mean it's definitely uh, a different story than any other story you know in my life usually you come to a place for work school or something you know that nature uh to be honest didn't have any of that set up when we came here um you know a lot of it had to do with you know getting closer to the beach getting you know to a place that was more affordable and then also a place that was better you know for the children so it was it was, it was very unplanned um you know the first time that i've really done something that's major without a plan and uh it, you know it actually worked out <laughs> in the long run. How long have you been here in Flagler? Uh, we've been here since 2016, June, right after the school year. Uh, at, I'm pretty sure the day that school ended, we, we were packed up somewhat and had, you know, already bought a house and we moved up, you know, and been here ever since. Wow, that's super cool. So you, you've kind of been in Flagler a lot, a, a little while, I would say. You've kind of seen it change and shift, especially since I think anyone uh, who's been here pre-2020 has kind of seen all the shifts and changes here. Yeah, absolutely. And we're, we're kind of looking for them, you know, being that, you know, one of the reasons that we moved here was for, you know, less people, you know, kind of a slower pace. So, you know, we moved from Miami, which is oh. obviously the opposite. So, you know, we, for whatever reason, I guess, coming from there, the reason that you came here, you know, was partially because of, you know, the slower pace. And then when you see things starting to kind of build up, you know, you're like, oh, shoot, are we getting back into what we kind of moved from? But it's, yeah. it's a long way. It's a long I, way from that. Uh, yeah, me. I think we're okay. Yeah, Miami is, <laughs> Miami is a little bit in insane <laughs> I yeah was, I was there last summer and I drove I only for a few hours me and my friend were going to a concert in downtown Miami and even mm -hmm. those few hours driving there I was like I'm never doing this again. like I <laughs> I can't like the lanes coming in and out the people people just switch lanes they don't let you switch lanes I'm like this is crazy I can never <laughs> this is insane um, yeah, to put yeah. it lightly um, like you said if it if it took you a few hours to get to where you were going you were probably only like 10 miles away <laughs> <laughs> probably yeah yeah uh, you know like if you've ever like driven in california you look at the map and you're like all right it's an hour away i have to plan but then you look at the details and it's like 15 miles and you're like wait a minute where are we going? <laughs> what is this? What's happening? We have to plan out an hour for this. Um, but I think hopefully Flagler is still a little bit ways away from that. I think at least for a little bit, we're okay. Um, yeah, a long, long ways. <laughs> well, you mentioned to me that you're a real estate investor, and I find that really fascinating because I feel like there are a lot of different ways maybe one could be into a real estate investor. So number one, how did you kind of get into real estate investing? Um. I, I would say that uh, it's it's kind of been in my family. Um, you know, my dad definitely did what I do now and, you know, come to find out that my grandfather did as well. I never participated with, with either of them. Um, you know, it was just, it didn't make sense to me when, you know, like my dad, I don't know if you're familiar, there was a guy, Carlton Sheets who was like the real estate guru at one mm -hmm. point, you know, he had all the, you know, tapes, probably cassette tapes worth <laughs> what he was putting out at that time. And, um, you know, my dad followed his method and, and it was really, it was face to face, you know, I mean, literally knocking on people's doors, yeah. you know, trying to purchase properties. And I didn't feel that was my personality. So I kind of, you know, shied away from it, but, you know, lo and behold, obviously with the technology, um, 
you know, you were able to do what he was doing by not even leaving your house and not right. leaving your computer. And, you know, you call people on the phone and, you know, skip tracing and so on and so forth. So at that point, it started to, to make sense, sense to me. Um, you know, I always knew real estate was a good industry to be in, but just really didn't know how to break into it, um, you know, in my younger years. Uh, mm -hmm. I probably should have listened to my dad a little bit more, but I, I just, like I said, um, and then, you know, he, uh, he ended up, you know, having a stroke oh, no. and, um, you know, it'd be kind of cool to work with him now, but, um, you know, he's just not in any condition to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, but I think. Oh, it's, it's yeah. been a while. Yeah. yeah I mean, still it, it yeah, I, I get you. it completely. Yeah. And I think it's, it's sometimes hard for us to admit as well that sometimes we just, there's a reason we, we didn't get into it back then. You know, I think there's so many things and I'm like, I wish, you know, I had listened to my dad about this or I had done this instead of that. But I think I look back and I'm like, I probably, I probably couldn't have done it if I if I tried um right. so that's it's it's an interesting thought that I've recently been grappling with a lot is like looking at the past events in your life and how does that lead you to where you are currently um so that's a little existential but still um why don't you tell me like really quick uh kind of a cliff notes of maybe what you do with real estate investing for anyone who isn't really fully aware with what that means uh, it, it's constantly evolving, um, but the main thing that I do, you know, it falls under the umbrella of, of, of flipping houses, but mostly what I do by flipping houses is I flip houses to the guys that are going to do the rehabs and flip them. Um, and like I said, it's constantly evolving because like now, obviously to be able to do that, you have to be able to get the property at a cheap enough of a price that you can offer it to the person that's going to do the work, you know, at a cheap enough price. And the markets change, you know, quite a lot over the last, you know, what you said, 2020, since 2020, the market has changed quite a bit. So it's kind of hard to get those properties at cheap enough of a price to be able to just, you know, it's, it's called flipping, you know, the contract or right. flipping the paper. Um, you know, once you go into contract, you you have a interest in the property and you can start marketing it. But it's just been difficult the last few years or two years or so to get the properties cheap enough where you can do that. So right now, you know, I've kind of partnered up with a couple of people and I I'm doing the re rehabs ourselves, you know, just to kind of keep the business going. And, yeah. and of course, if any of those deals pop up that we, we are able to get them cheap enough, we, you know, of course, would wholesale them out. So, yeah. you know different exit strategies um but you know it it all comes down underneath the umbrella of of, of flipping houses it's just yeah. How you flip it. yeah and i think a lot of people find it's a little different than um <clears throat> than how hgtv kind of tells us to do it it's a little bit it's a little bit different than that um but like you said it's constantly evolving so there's there's always something new that's going on that's out of your guys's control but then you guys kind of have to make it in some within your own control you know of how you want to move forward um so that's really interesting to learn um how yeah you it? have to stay, you definitely have to stay ahead of it you know yeah. it's it, it you know i would say with what i've learned with almost any business you know it's it's always evolving especially with technology you've really just got to try to stay ahead of what's going on because you know what worked last year or you know maybe even last month sometimes mm -hmm. you know won't work today right yeah I think that's really important to know I think that's just I mean that's honestly the truth in like any field especially nowadays with so much technology is so quick like a year ago we didn't use chat GPT right but now a mm -hmm. lot of people do and now people are like selling about chat GPT and training on chat GPT which is great but also like what happens in an, another year we don't have chat GPT anymore like we have something else now and it's right. it's constantly like like you mentioned staying ahead of the game and just being able to kind of anticipate like okay I think this is kind of where it's going. What do I need to know to anticipate that and to be ready for when it does come? Um, and that's just, I think, something you can only really learn with experience of being in those fields of like, okay, I've been here a little bit long enough. I can tell when some things are changing here. Um, yeah, so that, that's really cool to learn um, how you how you do it and how you see it. Um, really quick, before I wrap it up, I mean, you've been here in Flagler for a little bit. Uh, what would you recommend for new people in the area? Maybe places they can go, events they can go to, or maybe they even like groups that they can join to kind of get active with the community, kind of put themselves out there. 
Well, one thing that, you know, I noticed and it took us a while to, to recognize again, I I've always lived in, you know, either bigger cities or, you know, right outside of bigger cities. So, you know, more, more concrete, um, jungle type of environment. Uh, you know, Flagler has, you know, obviously we have the beach, but there's just a lot to do like outside. There's a lot of, you know, nature that you can experience. I mean, I don't know how many miles of trails and stuff that they have, but, you know, we've definitely participated in, you know, different parts of the trail system and, you know, just, you know, found it fascinating, you know, the, the forest and, you know, or woods or whatever they call it, you know, and the canopies and the things that you're able to do there. Um, you know, the groups, you know, I, I have two younger children, so, you know, kind of whatever they're doing is what we're doing right. at, this, at, this, at this point in our life, you know, but definitely meeting, you know, people, you know, through those avenues. So, you know, one is it's track. And then, of course, my other daughter is, you know, involved in, you know, theater. Oh, you know, yeah. School, oh, those so. are those are pretty time consuming. Speaking of the kid who did both, you know. <laughs> very, very, very much so. Very much so. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know how they do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah, I used to be like doing all types of theater, but then I also was a figure skater, like a competitive figure skater um, mm -hmm. on multiple teams. So it was right. um, my poor mom. I just, she was always driving. <laughs> she was, uh, we, we were we, always going somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, but we, we do it gladly. You That's know, awesome. it's, you know, I, yeah. I don't know if we're living vicariously through through the youth but yeah. Uh, yeah we gladly do it <laughs> no yeah like yesterday I saw my brother run and I was so excited like I was only there for like maybe 15 minutes but seeing him run he did I think the one mile it was it was so much fun to you know cheer for him and just be there for him and know that I'm I'm really screaming for him <laughs> so the one when he hears his name it's me it's always me <laughs> and right. of course <laughs> I like to make myself known um but Brandon thank you so much for coming on I really appreciate it this was super informative for me to learn um and I'm sure a lot of people also learned a lot from the different things that you mentioned when it comes to Flagler when it comes to real estate um and just I think general business knowledge that we should all have so thank you again I really appreciate it this was a lot of fun for me all right. Appreciate you, Macy. Thank you, too. Yeah. Thank you to anyone listening. I appreciate you as well. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.